Welcome back everyone, I'm Dr. Crew Insider and in today's video I'm gonna go over how to create a architectural site use diagram using only Illustrator. Now one of the first things you need to do is make sure that you have a good and detailed SketchUp model. What I'm gonna do is go to File, Export, 2D Graphic and export it to AutoCAD just so that I could clean up any messy lines, any areas that are not done properly because you know SketchUp can be really annoying sometimes. So it's literally just going over areas that don't need that much detail and just removing you know, a certain amount of detail because sometimes in Illustrator when you render things it too much detail just makes it look messy so just cleaning up any roofs, um, any walls that weren't drawn properly on SketchUp and I also find it that exporting AutoCAD as a DWG straight to Illustrator just comes out more clearer than doing it straight from SketchUp all you then need to do is just export your drawing and for this I just go to print and then create a plot and just go over the area, double check, make sure all of the line weight is right and then that's it. What I like to do is before I start actually rendering I like to have all of my files ready on my illustrator file so that's why I'm looking now for some trees using this Vectis website which is an amazing website I definitely recommend it, there's loads of high quality and free stuff like trees, cars, people, whatever you want. I just found this one, downloaded it because I wanted to be, have like a bit of a cartoon, I didn't want it to be too much realistic. So what I then did is I just grouped them on the illustrator file, picked a few that I liked, changed the colors a little bit and then you just added them in the file. Now one of the main things you need to do is you need to use your layers. Especially on illustrator, layers can get very messy if you don't do them properly, just like Photoshop. So make sure you use layers so you can turn them on, off, select various different bits and bobs ar around the file. So what I wanted to do is just give it the drawing a bit of depth, so I'm adding a few shadows and darker walls on the actual facade of each block. The color that you use this can be a very light gray or it can be whatever color you want, depending on how the drawing looks at the end. So I just started moving on, you know, just coloring everything like the roads, uh, start looking at all of the smaller paths and everything. Now what I do to separate the file is you click shift L which then brings you to the live bucket selection tool which you would select the color that you want then you go to select same fill color this will select everything that has the same fill and then you would control X to copy it and then control F to paste in place into the layer and then just moved on and did the exact same thing for every material and every color that I have and then and then with this again you just go to select same fill color copy and paste it to the right layer. Now to make this space a little bit more interesting, the actual drawing, is to change the opacities of the green spaces because obviously not everywhere is going to have the same amount of grass. So just try to make it somewhat realistic and it just gives a bit of depth into the actual drawing. So you can literally just go select a few random spaces, lower the opacity and just do this throughout the project. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a few textures. Now Illustrator has so many textures that I personally didn't even know about. So now what you do is you go to swatches, you click the little library and then you go down to patterns, basic patterns and then you select basic graphic dots. Now you can see the list there, there's so many different things that you can choose but I just wanted the dots and some areas for the green spaces to give a bit of texture. So what you would do is you would select which pattern you want, you would copy it, create a new layer, paste it in place into that layer and then you can mess with the scale if you're not comfortable which now you can go to object transform and then scale you have to make sure that you take preview and untick transform objects and make sure that the, the only thing you have ticked is transform patterns which then just changes the scale of the patterns not the location what you then do is to have both both materials and the color you go to transparency to multiply and there you go you have a pattern on top of your color you can always change the opacity if you're not happy with it. You can always go back and change the scale of the material or however you want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to separate the uses of the site from re retail to mixed use to hospital to transport to existing and all of this you just so what I did is I locked the layer of the site so that it doesn't get any it doesn't get messy and I just created a new layer and I'm gonna go over it with a specific color and once you do all of that for all of the spaces you will get something like this
And like previously, what you would do is you would copy it and paste it and then lower the opacity of the fill. This allows you to still see the lines of the blocks under it and still have a color over it. Add the trees. Instead of adding every single tree separately, you can turn the tree into a brush. Now this is very easy. All you need to do is you need to drag the tree into your brushes and you're literally done and that is your brush. When you do that, you get, the, you get your scatter brush options and you can change the variations of, of heights, of spaces, of the rotation. So it's a bit more, it's a bit more natural rather than it all being looking like it's copied and pasted. You can have different heights if you want to. Now for the beginning, I, I only had one tree in one location. So I just did it by hand, it's just quicker. But then towards the end, you can start using the brush. And it just makes everything so much easier and so much more clear by just using the brush. You can select the brush, you can change the brush stroke, you can move it up and down where, to whatever location you want. And it's just very, very nice and easy and simple. Now what's important is to make sure that you use a variety of trees. I feel like if you use a variety of trees, it just looks more natural and it doesn't look like it's been copied and pasted, even though you have, but the variation of trees just makes it look visually appealing. And now literally, after you've done all of that, you're literally done. This diagram did not take long at all. It is only a few easy steps. And what I like about Ill Illustrator is that the drawings are extremely clear. Especially when you export your drawings into a PDF, you can zoom in and the quality stays the same, which I think is very, very important for these conceptual diagrams. And as always, I never want to show the drawing without how to present it. So here you can see a page on how we've presented the drawings. As always, you have to make sure you add a key, just a little description. Remember that, that these drawings, they speak for themselves. You don't need to explain everything. When I presented this drawing, all I said is that I'll just stay on this page for a few seconds. It speaks for itself. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.